I've been with Lutron for pretty much 10 years. And I am, I am the business champion for this product line. We call it ILS, Intelligent Lighting Systems, and Ketra is our main product for that line. Ketra is a light source that is digital, addressable, and it's wireless. So we can do with this light source a full spectrum of white light, co white light color, and we can mimic the sunlight. We can, with incandescent lamps in the past, and to resemble the movement of the sun throughout the day. And right now we have these lights set up as a 3000 Kelvin, standard 3000 Kelvin, 100%. This is what you're gonna find with a standard bulb in the market. So if you go to, I don't know, Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, Target, and just buy an LED bulb and screw in, you're gonna get this. But if you buy a bulb that can be dimmable, so, and you have a very good dimmer, and you dim them down, you have this 25% dim, okay? Less light, but looks, a little bit forced, it's washed it out. It's kind of pale, we tell it feels a little bit gray. It's funny to talk about gray light, right? Because the, the darkest part is the absence of light. So, feels gray because this, this is not the natural movement of the light, the natural dynamism of the light. When we change the intensity, what is expected this is a 2700 Kelvin. When we change the intensity, the expectation is to change also the color temperature. So you have this cozy feeling that resembles the incandescent lamp, resembles the halogen lamp, filament lamps, and the filament is on fire. Like torchlight, or candlelight, or bonfire, or campfire, or sunlight. That's why it feels so natural to us, this cozy light that we are having right now. And with Catra, you can do that, just press on a button, press a button inside the homeworks, and boom, you get this. It's a very precise dimming, very precise intensity control, and very precise color temperature control. Meaning that I can go down to 0.1%, flicker free, but just a candle one. With light enough to see my path, my home during the night. If I want to go to the kitchen, grab a water in the fridge. So we can do that 0.1% perfect. With that 1% and this dynamic spectrum of white light that we have, we are able to mimic the sunlight throughout the day perfectly. So what you're gonna see now, it's a condensed show of the lights, how they perform throughout the day. So you have your sun rising, the sun goes up in the sky, and it's 10.30, 11 a.m., and now it's noon, and the light is very, very white, and in the after afternoon, you're feeling energized, you're working hard, and then you finish your work, and you go back home, and you start to wind down a bit, sit down on the sofa, open up a beer or a bottle of wine, put some Netflix on television, and then prepare to go to bed. And that's how our cycle of the life happens throughout the day. We are only able to make this super precise white light <coughs> because we have an array of 16 LEDs inside. So we have white LEDs. But to make this transition so seamless and so perfect, we need also the red, green, and blue components, the primary colors. So we, we are using these colors to make this very precise white light curve. So Ricardo, you're, you're telling us that you have red, green, and blue LEDs inside? Yes. Yeah. We don't use that. It's just a byproduct. But what if I can? Can I use it? Yeah, sure, you can use it. Be careful to make something spectacular 
and very corny or corky, I don't know the word, there's a very thin line. <laughs> so we created here, for instance, Go Warriors type of line. <laughs> but that easily could be a sunset sky, right? You have the very orange amber tone in the horizon and the sky is still dark blue. But if you're having a party, a cocktail party, invite your friend, inviting your friends over to have a dinner or something, you can set up something like this. So a part of all the white light power that you have, you can set up some moody scenarios mm -hmm. with that. But again, we have all this power over the white light. So what if I use this white light and just change it a little bit? the hue of a little bit red, a little less green, and play with that white light. Can I, can I make the things, can I make things look, look fresher or better? Yeah, we can do that. So we have a feature called vibrancy, and we use that for texture, artwork, wooden flooring, and, and, we, and we have a perfect example in that artwork on the wall. So you have it as a white light, 3500 Kelvin. Doesn't look bad. I can see everything, I can see the colors, but can I make it look better? Yes, sure. If I change it a little bit, the components of red, green, and blue, I can make the background pop. Mm -hmm. I can make the pink and the green and the reds have you noticed, noticed that? Take a look again. No vibrancy. No vibrancy. So it's like you're using a real, real life Instagram filter. As you're posting story, just swiping left, right? And you can see the effect on your artwork. And you can have more or less vibrancy. You have control of this function. The end user have control of this function. You can have more or less. So, so this is our standard white light. And if we open the door and let the daylight in, without being biased, you can notice a difference of the color temperature from here inside, much warmer, and the white outside, right? So if I bring the outdoors in using the natural light, it's like I have exactly the same color as outside. Yeah. And all of these available in screwing A20 bulbs, Par 30s, par 38s, grazing, small linears, downlights, flanged, flangeless, new work. So you can pretty much execute 100% of a job, requirements of a lighting job. In this portfolio, we have everything coming together. That ends the short demonstration about capture. Questions? Oh, thank you.